Win three months of TRT or three months of free therapy with Titan Medical Center's 60-Day Transformation Challenge. Now is your chance to start feeling, looking, and performing your very best. What's up, guys? John here from Titan, and today I'm just like you guys, starting my 60-Day Titan Medical Center Transformation Challenge. That's right, so I head down to Crunch today, right over by the office. I did chest and back, which are both big muscle groups, I know, but that works for me. You might have something that works for you. And if you don't know what works for you, you need to try something different so you can find what works for you. And it's all about being consistent, coming in every day, even if you don't want to, eating better food sources, dialing up your nutrition, getting some better sleep, and drinking water. It's all about a tight medical center, healthy lifestyle. It's all about you guys being tight and strong. So come along with me on the 60-day tight medical center transformation challenge and get better, feel better, perform better. It's all about you and improving your quality of life. So let's go. Today I'm here at Titan Medical Center getting my routine blood work. I feel that it's extremely important to get your blood work regularly, not only to monitor all of your levels, but also to be ahead of the game and to be able to detect any type of illness or imbalance. As the new year has commenced, Take control of your health today. Call or text Titan Medical Center. Hello everyone, my name is John. I'm the owner of Titan Medical Center. And today I want to do a tutorial video for you guys. Um, I know there's been a lot of questions from patients calling in, um, having issues with drawing the last bit of medication that they need out of their vial, right? And who wants to lose out of medication? Not me, paid a lot for it. You want to get everything that's in that vial, trust me. So there's a couple of tips I'm gonna go over with you guys to help you get that little bit of medication out of the vial. Especially when we're talking about like semi-glutide or terzepatide, where only a little bit goes a long way. So you wanna make sure that you get every dose out of your vial that you possibly can, right? So we're gonna go over two different vials today. One, I have just a regular bacterial static vial, and you're not gonna to have to really worry about this, but the reason I picked this is because it's clear and you guys can see transparently through. The next one is going to be real usage, semi-glutide. So with this, there's only a little bit left and it's in an amber vial. So at that point, we're not going to be able to see through this as much, but you will be able to see through so we can see what we're doing here. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to pull with insulin needle. You're going to grab the vial. And usually people will flip it upside down and some people are going from the bottom. The best bet is is turn to the side. That way you can see it directly go inside, center of the cap, and the biggest mistake people make at that point is, is they put the needle all the way in, okay? Now, if I try to pull this liquid, it might not pull that much, right? Because as you're pulling the liquid, the liquid's going down, and now your needle's on top of the liquid or where it's at. So you drew a little bit, but you didn't get all of it because now it's all air. So with that, what you wanna do is, is if you're having problems like that, take the needle down just a little bit, about halfway, where it was, and now you can draw the rest of it in there. Real simple, real easy. You make sure that you get all the medication that was provided to you. All right, next is real world use here. So semi-glutide, there's a lot of patients that take semi-glutide and cures appetite. But a lot of people complain about not being able to get that last little bit. And that last little bit might be one or two weeks worth of medication for you. So it's important to get. So at that point, what we wanna do is, is we can go to the side again and we can pull that medication going halfway right at the beginning. You see how it's drawing in. Halfway with the needle, right? That way you can get all your medication that you need. So that's another tutorial from us at Titan Medical Center to you guys to show you how to draw all your medication out of your vial properly. Make sure you get all those doses for you and for your results. I hope this helps. I'll be making more tutorial videos for you guys in the future. So just look for those things. I appreciate it. And I hope your therapies at Titan Medical Center are going well. Hi everyone, I'm Chenille. I'm a nurse practitioner here at Titan Medical Center. 
Just wanna kinda of touch base with you today and let you know why female hormones are so important to be evaluated and monitored, especially if you're experiencing symptoms that you may not really understand or um, see how it can be affected by hormones in the body. So hormones do play a very important role in the way that you're feeling and they do all kind of work together um, in conjunction to help regulate and balance each other within the body. So many times patients just feel really tired, weighed down, bloated, fatigued, have low sex drive or libido, and they just kind of think maybe it's stress related or something going on. And oftentimes, sure, it could be, but other times it's not. And you don't always know that unless you get your hormones evaluated to see what's really going on within the body. Certainly other medical conditions can also play a role in regulation and balance of these hormones, um, which you may not even be aware is taking place in the body. Um, so the best thing that you can do is to check your hormones, let us know how you're feeling, and see how we can help. What's up, guys? I'm here, John. I'm Sharice. And we're here at AMC for movie night. Thursday night's usually our movie night for date night. And you know what, since we're seeing these movies, we thought we want to give you the tight medical movie review just for you. So this week we got to see Argyle. Argyle was a, a pretty packed or star-studded packed movie. It had a lot of big actors in it. From Brian Craston, Henry Cavill, Sam Rockwell, Samuel Jackson, Catherine O'Hara, and more. So it had a really good cast. And you know what? The trailer looked pretty good too. It was about this writer and she gets caught up in espionage and the whole nine. So you really didn't know what to expect from this movie. Yeah. All right. I, I had one perception going into this movie and then when the movie started, it started going through and, and, and laying out the story. It was a totally different story than what I thought the movie was going to be about to a certain degree. But it was really good. Like uh, the movie started out, it had a pretty good action scene um, on the train and all this stuff with Sam Rockwell and Catherine O'Hara. And then Henry Cavell, you know, he's all through this movie. I don't want to ruin any of the little twists and turns, but there were some really good twists For in this sure. movie. There's definitely some good the, ones. The story was, was written out pretty good. Uh, as far as that goes, it was directed very well. Um, and I think the, the director or producer of this uh, did Kingsman too as well, mm -hmm. which you'll see a twist in that too and a bring in too. It, it's really cool. Stay for the end. Yeah, stay for the end for sure. But, you know, it was it, there was a lot of good action. It was a really good storyline. Um, you know, I, w I was intrigued in the whole movie and it wasn't like a real, real short movie either. Um, but it wasn't a really long movie. It was in between that two hours and, and, and two and a half hour movie, right? So, you know, when we watched it, you know, I was, uh, like I said, I was I was intrigued. I was, you know, right into the movie and in the storyline and Silver Streets, I think, to a degree. I don't know. I liked it. You know? I thought it was a good movie. So for me, I'm going to give it uh, 3.5. I'll give it 3.5 as far as stars out of five. I thought it was really good. I think you guys will like the action in it. I think it had a good plot, good twist. And uh, you know some good, good like I said, good actors in it. That always makes the story good if you like the actors in it too as well. So I have to play the characters right. Yeah, I think it was good, especially because there's always action and I like fighting and all that other fun stuff. Um, but yeah, it, it, I think it was it was a really, really good movie. It started off a little, I think a little slower. And then you were kind of like, what's going on? For a minute, I'm like, what's going on in this movie? Like not, it really didn't make any sense to be honest with you. So I'm like asking John halfway through the movie, like, I don't understand exactly what's going on. And he looks at me, he's like, he's this and this and this, but it's this. And I'm like, okay, let me stay tuned. Stay tuned. And finally, like, you know, halfway through the movie, I'm like, it makes sense. Of course, this is so great. And then boom, twist in the movie, totally different movie. It was like literally going to see one movie and then seeing a second movie in the same movie. Yeah. I mean, so I would give it a 3.7. She actually did a higher review than me on a movie. I did like this I think movie. This is the first. That was good. This is definitely a tight medical movie review first, okay? <laughs> so make sure you, you, you memorize this and put in the notes. You better go see it. Um, I thought it was good. You know, a little long, and, but it was good. And here's the thing make sure you get all your goodies, treats, snacks in the beginning and before you go in the yeah, movie. Like this guy. Go to the bathroom before you go in the movie because what happened was, was Sharice missed out on a really, I think, one of the best action scenes in the whole movie. And it really I was set setting the tone. up pizza. It set the tone and it, and it explained what was going on. So when she came back, I was like, oh my God, I was like, where were you at? Because like this, this and amazing then I scene just this happened. Pizza so that we both I ate two little slices of it. Just it doesn't nice. matter. I got the pizza. <laughs> okay. 
I agree. Get your snacks. Don't miss anything. I hate missing any of the movies. I mean, especially a good part. You don't want to miss a good part. Yeah, I agree. You know, if it's a boring part, it's uh, whatever. But this was actually a good part, and I'm, I'm sorry she missed it. But she'll see it when it comes on demand. We'll be first to see that, I promise. Yes. And, uh, you know, you can get it back into the story even if you missed it, a little part of it. But it will definitely help. So go out, see Argyle this weekend. There's not a lot of big choices in the movie theaters. Trust me. Wah, me, wah, me and Truth are always looking for good movies to see, and we'll see pretty much almost anything. Just a review for you guys and for our entertainment and for our sanity because date night is our getaway, yes. right? So at that point, you guys should go out and see Argyle, make a family trip, make it a couple trip, do it a solo trip if you need to. Everybody will enjoy this movie all the way down to kids, to adults, I promise. And uh, that's it. So go get your tickets for this weekend, AMC, Argyle. You guys will love it. See you then. What's up guys, here tonight, 16 year anniversary dinner. 16 years. 16 years, oh my God. Like, oh. I don't know who can put up with me for 16 years. <laughs> John deserves a trophy, a medal and a ring. Yes, yes, <laughs> you know, same with me. I, I think I'm pretty easy going, so, but you know. It's pretty good. It, there's ups, there's downs, but a lot of ups, right? Lots of ups. The hard little bumps that you go on the road, or go over I should say, that's going to make you stronger. That's going to bring your bond together. And uh, that has brought me and Sharice even tighter. Business partners, you know, lovers, wife, husband, best friends, kids, best friends, right? So we have the ultimate gift, I guess, from God as far as relationship wise. We got lucky. A lot of people don't find that these days. We so did get lucky. It's, it's, it's out there, right? You guys can find it too. It's but, out there. You know, we've, sometimes you even need to make it. You yeah. know, like you, you, sometimes it's not just laying in front of you. And like everything goes perfect like yeah. this is so perfect but i mean if you really 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 love someone you'll do whatever it takes that's right whatever it takes and if you don't love them you won't so you'll know right then and there you will and uh you know like we talk about in cubist corner go out do things especially for your anniversaries we're gonna go inside check out the restaurant check out the dinner check out the dessert we'll have more for you guys afterwards but you know what i love my wife Thank you for 16 years, and I'm ready for the rest of my life. I can't wait. We all know that it's better to be active and healthy to live a good quality of life. And sometimes we need help when it comes to reaching our health and fitness goals. For optimal health and anti-aging therapies, all roads lead to Titan Medical Center, a concierge medical clinic with top quality therapy, services, and staff. Headquarters on Channel Side in Tampa, Florida with service nationwide. Titan Medical Center has been helping patients optimize their life for over a decade and specializes in hormone replacement therapy, medical weight loss, and other cutting edge medical services and therapies. Titan Medical Center patients start with blood work and we offer an affordable full panel blood test in office or nationwide. There is no guessing game. We take a proven approach to helping you reach your optimal health levels. Titan Medical Center is a true concierge medical experience. Our office staff and U.S. licensed medical providers are here for you and take the time to actually listen to each patient. We do not think of you as just a number like most medical clinics. With us, you are Titan family. If you want to have more energy, lose weight, gain more lean muscle, raise your libido, or even feel better, we can help you. We have something for everyone. And we also have therapies that you do not need to have blood work for. It's never too late to start caring about your health. Contact us today so you can start feeling your best and start living life feeling tight and strong. So guys, 16th year anniversary. I've got her anniversary gift here. All right, so let's go deliver them to her and we'll have her open them and you guys go to see what I got her this time. I always get her something different. Add to the collection, let's go. say and how blessed I am 
for my beautiful wife of 16 years and my beautiful son and our family that we have. My wife is so caring, loving, sexy, invigorating, and she's one hell of a tough businesswoman too. These are the traits that really brought me to Sharice and made me fall in love with her head over heels. Best place on the planet. I have every single box going on for 10 years now. Oh, it's inside the box. Wow, those are pretty. I do not have white yet. That's pearl sheen, actually. I do pearl, not have pearl, pearl sheen, sheen yet. <laughs> Hold on. There's another thing. There's, there's, there's always more. But there's more. <laughs> Take off the bottom. and downs through our 16 years. You know what? Behind the scenes, we still love each other even more day after day, night after night. It just keeps getting better and better. I can't wait for another 16 years or another attorney with you, baby. What's up, guys? John here. I'm Sharice. And we are back with another Cupid's Corner. Awesome and good information that you guys can utilize. Honestly, whatever doesn't break you will make you stronger. That is the truth. Every week, if you don't know, we come up with these tips and tricks to help you guys enhance your relationships. I hope they all see this episode. Whether it's reigniting that passion or just developing a better, stronger relationship. We went through a lot of these trials and tribulations, so we wanted to give you guys the shortcut. I mean, you guys might even do this and not realize it, and your partner might be currently upset at you, so we might help you in that aspect. This is true. <laughs> so, we're gonna... What's up, guys? I'm John. I'm Sharif. And we are back with another Cubist Corner. That's right. Every week, me and my amazing wife over here are bringing you guys great tips, tricks, and things that will hopefully ignite, excite, and take your relationship to all new healthy, positive levels, right? Because that's what we're all going for in a relationship. Hopefully, that's what you're going for too as well. And uh, this week is uh, Valentine's week. <gasps> so Valentine's Day is here, you know. The day Hallmark made up so we can spend money. Well, you know, cu <laughs> Cupid's Corner, you know, Valentine's Day, go right hand in hand, right? For sure, for sure. So hopefully you got hit by that Cupid's arrow ah, and you guys are okay. going to do something really nice for Valentine's Day or have. And, uh, you know, every year we, we talk about Valentine's Day maybe different things you guys can do for Valentine's Day. And we can cover all that too as well. And every week we bring you guys great tips that will hopefully, you know, bring you to a great Valentine's Day, right? All the way up to the day of Valentine's Day, or it feels like every day is Valentine's Day to your loved one. So, um, you know, this year, you know, the same thing, right? What are you guys doing or what have you done for Valentine's Day to set it up? And, you know, Valentine's Day is, you know, they call it a Hallmark holiday. You know, us guys, you know, we're like, ah, we got to get a girl something. <laughs> I mean, but it should mean something, you know, as far as a relationship and wanting to do something for your partner. And usually it's more guy to girl driven. I, I've seen now the Galentine's Day things where guys. For Are you Valentine's, serious? This is a thing. Oh it's a thing now. God. So now it's reverse yeah. words. So now as guys might be getting Jeez. flowers and candies and little bears. Thank God I didn't buy him flowers and candies. <laughs> flowers. 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 <laughs> yeah, I always like candy. Yeah, chocolate, yeah. He but, loves chocolate. Um, but, you know, at that point, like, it should be about both of you guys, right? And that's really where it comes into hand. And, you know, you guys doing something together that makes it special or memorable. You know, I was talking to Cherise, what was it, today or yesterday or whatever it was, and she's like, oh, we can just go for dinner the other <laughs> night or whatever. You know, we've been together for so long. I'm like, well, I don't want to <laughs> He's do, like, I don't, I don't want to be like that. I don't want to be like that. You know, I don't want to. I'm like, you're right, you're right. Once you do that once, it's really easy to do it again and again and again. And then what are you, what are you doing? You're just, you're just going through the, the, the motions at that point. Yeah. Why even celebrate it? Why even call it that? So, true. you know, at that point, like, make the time memorable. So do something special for your loved one. You know, it was brought up to me the other day, and, and I really don't like or don't care about Taylor Swift or oh the, you know, the Achilles guy, you know, from the Kansas City Chiefs. 
But they're dating, and you know, the question was brought up. What does he get somebody that is already a billionaire? I know. Right? That's tough, man. When somebody has everything, you better start like really thinking because money is not a value at that point. It really isn't. So at that point, like, you know, you go and you think out of the box. Now, listen, flowers are always going to play, I think, for, for sure. any woman out there. Always. You know, there are, some, there are some women out there that do not like flowers. But like one few, few and far between. That's just, like Sharice not liking chocolate. I was just going to bring that up. That's just like Sharice not liking chocolate. She's the 1% of the population that doesn't eat chocolate. It is so repulsive. So you, sh you need to know <laughs> what your girl's into. And like I said, majority of girls are into chocolate and flowers. So that's going to be a home run right there. Um, after that, it's something to do, you know, that's going to burn a hole in their heart per se right something that's going to really get to them burn a hole well you're, you're like you're you're branding their heart with your with, with, yeah. with, with what it is right mm. and uh <laughs> <laughs> that's burning right? so you know with, with this you, you want to definitely like you know come up with some idea now sharice does a really good idea every time that we have something like this speaking of ideas and chocolate she gets me like these personalized gifts right? john always gets me on camera and this year I got to get him on camera, and even better yet, I got him on the show. <laughs> this is so great. You can't ask for anything more organic than this. It's Valentine's Day. It's Valentine's <laughs> guys. It's Manentine's Day, right? No, no, no. Um, but I got John a few things. Um, this year I got him something really cute. It's like all, all my gifts. I always tell John they're so cheesy, but. This is like, okay, this is a home run, so we're going to let John open this for Oh, uh, well, we know what this is. If yeah. you guys don't know what Lotta Roch is, or I hope I'm pronouncing that right, this is a, a company from uh, Sweden, right? Yeah, Sweden. Mm -hmm. And uh, basically, when the virus hit, COVID hit, all the Godivas <laughs> shut down Crazy. nationwide. Crazy. No more stores in the United States. That's John's favorite chocolate. And um, you can order their boxes and stuff like that, but it's not, not like same. going to the store. Getting like, it like fresh, fresh with, like, you know, in the there. case. You know what I'm saying? So Happy this company, Day. thank you. Thank you so much. Mm. I love you. Mm. I love you more. No way. I love you more. No, I love you more. So this company <laughs> took over all the spots and they took over the spot in our mall. And honestly, I think their chocolate is a little bit better. I got John hooked up this year. Yeah, so let's see what we got. What's in the box? Be careful. It's set up. There's so very much nicely. chocolate in here, it's ridiculous. It's like a little box in here. What do we got here? Let's see. What's in the box? The pop up box of chocolate. We got some bark here. What is this? What is that's this? new. Ooh, what is this? What is this? Coconut. Coconut. Oh, I like it. Coconut bark. And that's new for yeah, sure. Yeah, that's new, new. You got a little heart for Valentine's <laughs> Day. Look at that. And you guys can get, honestly reverse gift this and get this for your girl. <laughs> Good. And a couple boxes here, and these are going to be and like truffles the, and all kinds the, of all stuff. All the hazelnut crunches and whatever else nice. John eats on this disgusting chocolate. But Disgusting chocolate. Look for that, him. Guys. For him. I shall touch the chocolate box. <laughs> Okay, just for him. So cool. All right. And He's trying to get me fat. <laughs> That's what it is. Okay, so I'll let you open what else you got? this first. This one probably shouldn't be opened on a live television. Uh-oh. But it's okay. Neiman Marcus, what do we got here? What do we got? Oh, look at I got Versace underwear. Because he would never buy them for himself. This is true. He wouldn't. He just wouldn't do it. So it's like, you know... Even though he makes, he's, I've made this joke before, like, I would get you underwear for Valentine's Day. He's like, you're giving me underwear? It's like, this is no ordinary underwear. This is Versace. Versace. And underwear. it's made of cotton and elastane, which his Calvin Klein's are made of cotton and elastane. Ooh, like it. I like it. And black with like, they got the Greek yeah. keys on it. That's awesome. Right up your alley. All right, what else we got? No. Similar. That's some more pack. Versace underwear, some white and black. All right. You got one more thing in there. One more thing in there. What is this? Socks. And more underwear. Oh, more underwear. You need new underwear, obviously. I didn't see no so oh, here they are. Yeah. They're hidden all the tissue. I know. I've, I've, I've made a little thing for oh, him. Oh, wow. Versace socks. And these are different. These are like almost like a towel. Right? Right? <laughs> I thought they were your, your feet will never be soaked, right? <laughs> no, they will be warm. Down. Warm. All right. Now you get to open the fun stuff. Here's uh -oh. your card. Yeah. With that, and this will be the last gift. So one of the most important things to me, and I think your parents teach you this when you're a little kid, because when you're a little kid, you always want to go for the, the gift, is the card. 
It's always the car. The car is definitely the best thing. And Sharice's cards are actually better because she gets personalized cards. <laughs> so me and her are on the front. This is awesome. It's a great picture, too. It says, Happy Valentine's Day. I love you more than you will ever truly understand. You are my everything. Thank God every day for blessings. Me with you. The keeper of my heart and soul. Love, Boo Boo Kitty. <laughs> so this is a custom card, too, is what, what she wrote. And that's my little little nickname for her. So it says, Happy Valentine's Day, Daddy Boo. Thank you for you being you. I'll put all my other love notes in your special box this year. I love you. Special book, actually. Uh oh. What else we got? I got you this. Oh, a whole entire <laughs> book of things I love about you, Daddy Boo, aka you, by Boo Boo Kitty. Oh my God. <laughs> and every page is filled out. <laughs> it's so cute. <laughs> you get to read it. Oh. You get a kick out of every single page. This is really awesome. Personalized. So. Wow. I wasn't expecting that. And then we have one more. What do we got? I'm going to get to see this yet. Hopefully it turned out okay. Oh, this is nice. This John and Sharice love you more. Because me and Sharice always say, like, I love you. And I'm like, well, I love you more. I love you more. So cool. As I said, little gifts like this, like stuff like that, that's, that's, that's something. And that should mean more than, you know, the, the big material items that people are expecting for Valentine's Day. So I love you. Thank I you so you. much. Mm -hmm. Happy Valentine's Day, Thank babe. you. You guys will see what I got her. Of course, I got her flowers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Add to my collection. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, what kind of box? What color are they? I know. That's gets, the question at hand. You've got to remember which ones not to repeat. I mean, that's right. That's a tough one. We don't want duplicate boxes here or duplicate flowers. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, as far as that goes, you guys see what she got me, right? And this is, this is really, really nice stuff. So, um, you know, what I'm going to get her is really nice too as well. But like I said, if you don't have money or you guys are financially strapped or whatever it is, then think outside the box. Do something that doesn't cost any money, any money or if it's very minimal, mm -hmm. then Memories, that's okay. You, you, you can't pay for memories. Yeah, and especially if you live here in Florida. If you live here in Florida, there's so much here to do, especially this week. The weather's nice. Mm -hmm. Go out, do something, anything, right? There's so much stuff to do here. So at that point, you guys should go get out, make memories together, and make a memorable Valentine's Day. And that way... You know, you guys think about the Valentine's Day from last year, but hey, remember that? You guys can talk about the memories and stuff like that on the next Valentine's Day, and you guys do something special then. It's all about the special time that you have with your partner. You don't know how much time you have, so um, at that point, take advantage of it, okay? So that is it. Another Cupid's Corner Valentine's Day edition just for you guys. I hope you guys have a great Valentine's Day. If you guys have celebrated on Valentine's Day or even on the weekend because Valentine's Day fell on Tuesday this week, so... Yeah. Wednesday, excuse me. And Wednesday with John's week. birthday dinner for all these Valentine's dinners that took over. <laughs> <laughs> so join us again for another Cupid's Corner next week at 11 a.m. Sunday on ABC. And if you can't watch it live, DVR it. Or if you can't do that either, just go to YouTube or any of our social media pages and you guys will see the show for yourself. And uh, pick up all these tips, tricks, and, and things that will help you guys out too as well. So we hope you guys have a great Valentine's Day. We love you guys. Thank you for the support. Happy Valentine's Day. Bye.